Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video for the new Boston. Now at some point when you program in PHP, you are going to need to generate random numbers. Now the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to generate a random number, how we can specify a lower and an upper limit, and then I'm going to talk a bit about why you might need to uh, specify, oh, generate a random number. So when we use the rand function, which looks like this, we can either supply no arguments at all, or we can supply two arguments. Now, we're first of all going to look at supplying no arguments. So if I was to just echo rand, or in fact, create a variable called rand that we can use later on in our program then, um, now, random number in PHP is automatically seeded, so there's no need to do anything. All you have to actually do is call rand. Now, at the moment, because we haven't supplied arguments, this is going to uh, generate a random number between a minimum and a maximum amount. And the minimum amount is, I think, 0 or 1, and the maximum is a pre-specified amount. So let's just take a look at the preview of this in our browser. You can see that we've now generated 30,150, now 10,631, 180, so we're going lower towards the lower limit, back up to the higher limits, and we can keep refreshing and we'll have a random number. Now this isn't unique, so every time you refresh, it will automatically reseed, and we will be, um, we will be uh, generating perhaps the same number twice. Now, um, if I was to uh, look at this, I can see that there's obviously an upper limit because we're not going into, say, the millions. But there is a way we can find out this upper value. Uh, so if I say max equals, and it's a get rand max function. Now what this will do is this will um, specify the maximum amount of uh, uh, the maximum integer that this random value can be when we've specified just rand on its own. So let's uh, put a forward slash in there and then max. So essentially what we're seeing is the random number out of the maximum. So let's have a look at what that's produced. You can see now we've got 9552 out of 32,767. 32,767 in this case is the maximum number that can be generated. And the number that has been generated is 9552. So you'll see that as we uh, refresh, this value will stay the same. However, the random number that's being generated will, uh, will uh, sort of increase, decrease, and change. So what happens if we don't want to use all this and we just want to echo out a random number between a specific amount? Let's say you were creating a dice game where you, the user had to roll a dice randomly. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a form. Uh, the action is going to be uh, this current page. Uh, which is index.php and the method is going to be post and what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to create one button and that's uh, a submit button with the name roll and the value roll a dice or is it die uh, oh, I'm not too sure we'll say roll dice it's uh, irrelevant here okay so inside PHP let's just get rid of all this for now we want to first of all check if this button has been pressed. This is something by now you probably should know what, how to do. So we're saying if is set dollar underscore post. Remember we're using a post variable here. Um, roll. And uh, oh, that's it actually. That's all we need to do because we're clicking a button. So if uh, the button has been clicked, we can say clicked. Just to uh, test this for now, clicked. Okay, so let's uh, refresh our page. We can click on this and it will come up with clicked. So you sort of get the idea of where this is going. What we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a random number between one and six when we press this because a dice has six sides. So let's um, create a new variable called rand and we'll call that equal that to rand. Now we're gonna echo out you rolled a and then we're going to append on this random number. Now, as it stands at the moment, we have um, clicking the button, 
it's giving us a massive number which is irrelevant to a dice, so the program is pointless. However, if I was to specify just two arguments in here, we can specify a minimum and a maximum, or a lower and an upper limit. Low, limit. So we can say between 1 and 6. Now, so I've said 1 for the first argument, 6 for the second. Now this is an inclusive value, so we could we could be echoing a 1, we could be echoing a 6, but we're not going to be echoing anything less than a 1 or anything more than a 6, and obviously the numbers in between. So let's have a look here, let's refresh. At the moment it says you rolled a 4, we can click it again, you rolled a 2, you rolled a 6, you rolled a 4, you rolled a 3, a 1, so we've pretty much had every value, and we can keep clicking that, and it will never go over 6, and it will never be under 1. So, that is one um, fun use, if you like, for the random function. Now, what are the other reasons we might use it? Now, when we're uploading files, we might want to specify a random um, a random uh, array, or if you like, of um numbers and characters and letters and things like that anything really now the random function is really useful because it's going to produce a more or less random value every time which you can combine with other random values and letters of your choice and even md5 hashes which you can look at on one of my other videos so the random function is great for doing what it says and if you do need to use a random function all you need to do is call round you can specify a lower and an upper limit a minimum a maximum limit if you'd like to call it that or you can just leave it blank and you uh, will be generating a number with a predefined upper limit so that's the random function in PHP